action affects the citizens, especially the most vulnerable and marginalized, like the poor, the disabled, ethnic minorities, AIDS victims, and women. This own all-kind competition was conceived by students and has been supported immensely by the deans, by the lecturers, and it's amazing to see that our ideas can be conceived and really guided. Thank you very much. Understand your facts well. You've got to appreciate your facts. It used to be said that if the law is not on your side, you focus on the law, and if the law is not on your side, on the facts, and if neither of them is on your side, you bang the table. But I would tell you that there is no wisdom in banging the table. Just get your law right. I found myself seated between an army of lawyers this morning. And there are two things which happen when you find yourself seated around lawyers. So with due respect, you will allow me to stop. There's one negative thing about sitting around lawyers, but there's one positive thing I want to share when you find yourself around lawyers. It's amazing how this move called culture makes people walk the same walk over the years. And therefore, I have no doubt, by virtue of your interest and by virtue of your participation in this event and like events of where your destiny lies, it lies in the greatness that attends to Professor David Ojua. It, it lies in the greatness that lies uh, uh, that attends to Professor Pierre Lumumba, the immediate former dean of the School of Law at uh, 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 Kenyatta University, Dr. Musumba. It lies in the greatness of the assistant director of the advocacy training program at the Kenya School of Law, Mr. Anthony Munene, among other great people. I don't take it for granted when I see young people from various law schools converge and debate hypothetical questions. The reason is, many years after that, I have become a practitioner of the law. And I have practiced law in many of its manifestations. From the lowest magistrate's court I have appeared, to the Supreme Court of the Republic of Kenya I have appeared. I'm really impressed to see that we have such uh, good law students who are prepared to argue cases. Uh, just as JB or John and PLO, you can rest assured that when you exit the stage, you love uh, very good lawyers to succeed you. Um, I should also say that a, a good court is just as good as the lawyers who appear before it. So, you know, the Supreme Court will not make um, landmark decisions unless uh, we, we get lawyers who are good and present uh, good arguments before that court. Be a good lawyer. Research. Make your argument, then you don't have someone to make the arguments to, when it says to your roommate as before you want to bear or whatever, just argue on, make the case, tell him what you think, tell her what you think about this, I think this should be like this. And every time you have a chance to answer any question in, in a class, stand up and make the argument, overcome the fear. If you don't step into the fear, you don't break away that fear, you will never do so. You have really, really have to overcome it. And I'm saying this because there is something of I've done and I'm still trying in my life. So, really I'm very impressed and I'm very happy to be your partner. And as a lawyer, I, I, I appreciate the centrality of moot courts in the training of upcoming lawyers. And one of the things that um, I learned in my social foundations of law is that lawyers are social engineers. And I do know that right now, one of the biggest challenges that we are facing, in fact, the very reason why Transparency International exists internationally and nationally is to combat corruption. In place, and you cannot doubt that it's useful. Therefore, you cannot doubt that the physicists did a good job, or the architect, or the engineer. They did a good job. You can see it, it is there. What about you lawyers? What are you dealing with? You have to deal with something. If you don't deal with something, then you have to business. I want to tell you what we're dealing with. There are two main levels at which corruption affects human rights. There are many, but the two main levels are at the level of the individual and the level of the society. If you don't know the law, the judge will tell you they'll not be excited. You've got to dress well. Professor Zhuang may not remember this, but saturnal elegance is at the very heart of your comportment. These people are citizens who want to speak to their government, but what does the government do? It doesn't listen to them. 
to the extent instead of just blocking its ears, it kills them. Your Excellency, there is nothing about public health and morals here. If anything, the government has made it impossible for these people to access health services in the community. Your Excellency, this is not a matter of a matter of morality. So it cannot be taken. We are the Supreme Court and uh, we may very well have a, a different view. We want you to convince us that, that that argument by the Superior Court is one that would stand the scrutiny by this court. I will discuss the matter by citing Section 17 of Article 3 of the Schedule of the Constitution that laws that have been existing in Padma shall apply in modification and alteration to the Constitution. And Your Excellency, by application to the Supreme Court, that the provisions of the Judicature Act on application of common law would fall before this court. This is the argument of the head court that, that the matter being an issue of interpretation of the Constitution and that being being discharged of by the court, uh, jurisprudence has been said.